I've always been interested in World War II. When Capstone came around, it opened up a great opportunity to do more research on it. I figured that there were so many battles that were important to the Allies who assessed in a European theater. I could just speak about the top five battles. The five battles my research led me to was the Battle of Britain, Battle of Stargard, Operation Overlord, Battle of the Bulge, and the Battle of Berlin. All of those battles were important in different ways. The first battle my research led me to was the Battle of Britain. But in order for you to understand how it was important, you need to know what it was, so I'll be giving an overview first. The Battle of Britain was an aerial battle over the English Channel. It was the British and Germans that fought in this battle. The battle blocked the invasion of Britain, and it also resulted in heavy loss of airplanes from both sides. Now that you know what it was, you can now learn about how it was important. One way it was important was that it blocked the invasion of Britain. In order for the Germans to invade Britain, they had to knock out the RAF, Royal Air Force. But while they were trying to knock out the RAF, they encountered a problem. But even though the RAF were vastly outnumbered, they were still strong. The British fought hard, which made the invasion be postponed and eventually scrapped. The battle also showed that Germany could be defeated. Germany was such a large army, nobody thought they could be defeated. They had gone through multiple countries without suffering any major casualties. But when they found the Battle of Britain, they suffered heavy casualties. And when the British won it, they saw that Germany was not a huge undefeatable army and that it was defeatable. The second battle I'll be talking about is the Battle of Stalingrad. I will also be giving an overview before I begin talking about how it's important. The Battle of Stalingrad was a German offensive into the city of Stalingrad. But when they did, the Red Army put up stiff resistance which made the German offensive stop. The battle was also extremely deadly to both the Red Army and the German Army. The battle stopped the German advance to Russia. The Germans had been going into Russia up until that point. But when they reached the city of Stalingrad, the Red Army put up tough defense which made the German offensive stop. The battle was also a turning point in the war since the Germans lost their entire 6th army which included 330,000 elite soldiers. The third battle I'll be talking about is Operation Overlord. As well as I did for the other two battles, I'll be giving an overview first. Operation Overlord was a naval invasion into France. The Allies invaded from five beaches, Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword. The most famous feature was Omaha because we see the brunt of the action. It allowed the Allies to fire from three sides, east, west, and south. This split the Axis resources to defend all three sides. There were less resources to go into one place which made it easier to advance further into Europe. It allowed the Allies to fight in Britain's battle at Rietica. It also allowed a couple of Allied countries to find on mainland Europe, which let them find us on the battles on mainland Europe. The fourth battle I'll be talking about is the Battle of the Bulge. Guess what? Another overview. The Battle of the Bulge was a battle that took place in Bastogne, Belgium. It was mainly the Americans and Germans that found this battle. The battle was a last ditch effort to stop the Allies on the West. The battle was in freezing conditions and the Americans had not been given proper winter gear. The battle stopped Adolf Hitler, the Chancellor of Nazi Germany's Templar Offensive. Hitler sent a maximum effort to stop the Allies on the West. Hitler sent many troops and tanks there, but some ran on the fuel on the way through the Ardennes. He also pulled a lot of troops from the east, where the Russians were fighting to the west, where the Americans were fighting. The remaining troops on the east were easily defeated by the large number of Russian troops. This made it a lot easier to advance for the Russians. Most of the troops that were pulled to the west died, and the Germans could not afford to lose that many troops. Last but not least, the Battle of Berlin. The Battle of Berlin was a battle that took place in the German city of Berlin. The Red Army destroyed the city by artillery strikes. They continued doing it until the Germans surrendered. The battle also made Hitler commit suicide since defeat was inevitable. The battle was the final defeat of Germany since the Germans had just took over Berlin. And it was the, then Berlin was the capital of Germany, so when that fell, Germany fell. The battle also made Hitler commit suicide. His suicide allowed the German soldiers to surrender. He committed suicide because the Russians had just took over Berlin and his personal bunk was there. There was also a lot of Russian soldiers searching for him, and he did not want to get captured and punished for all his war crimes. It all. All of these battles were important in different ways, like being a turning point war, and making the leader of an Axis country commit suicide.